Today we will make use of Torch Vision object detection models to track objects using Deep Sort Tracker. Hey there, welcome to Learn Open CV. The Torch Vision models sub package contains models for various tasks like classification, detection, segmentation, person key point detection, just to name a few, but none to track objects. To know what ReID is, check out our blog post Real Time Deep Sort with Torch Vision Detectors on learnopencv.com. Link in description. Let's get started. We begin with importing Python libraries Torch, Torch Vision, OpenCV, OS, Time, ArcParse, and NumPy. Our object detection model comes from the Torch Vision library. We also need two tensor to convert the OpenCV images to tensors. We will use the DeepSort real-time library to track the detections. Then we have defined two utility functions, convert detections and annotate. Let's check them out. Convert detections inputs the object detection result and extracts its bounding box coordinates, class labels and confidence scores. Then it feeds out the low confidence detections and converts to X1Y1 WH score format. This is the sort format. This format will then be input to the deep sort tracker. Next, we have the annotate function. This function takes input of the tracked results and extracts the track ID class label and the box coordinates. The coordinates are then resized and annotated using OpenCV's rectangle and put text functions. If you want to learn how to use these OpenCV functions, check out our comprehensive course OpenCV Bootcamp at opencv.org slash university slash free courses. Moving on to the main script, our final import is the COCO91 classes, which are provided in a list. The 0th class is the background and then we have person, bicycle, car and so on. Here we define the arc parsers. The input video, image dimension, the detector model and its corresponding detection threshold the ReID feature extractor or the embedder. The show flag will visualize the results on the screen and with class, you can display only the required objects. By default, only the person class will be selected. Next, we define seed, create the output directory to store the results, initialize the GPU and define a color for every class. Here, we print the details of the run, like the classes being tracked, the detector used and the ReID embedder. Now, we need to initialize the object detector model and deep sort tracker. We are using a model from the Torch Vision model's sub package with its default weights assigned. Then, we set the model to eval mode and load it to the GPU. Next, we use the ReID embedder and the max age to initialize the deep sort tracker. The max age specifies the duration of the ReID embeddings that will be saved. Then, we start reading the video frames and define the video writer object. Now, while extracting the video frames, resize and convert it from BGR to RGB, convert the image from NumPy array to tensor and pass this tensor to the model. The detection results will then be converted to sort format using the function convert detections. Pass the sort format detection results along with the image to the deep sort tracker using the function tracker.update tracks. After computing all the time statistics, we'll take the tracks data and using the annotate function, draw the rectangles and class labels on the image. Finally, write this video frame. Now, let's run this code. To follow along with us, click on the download code button in the blog post. You'll find the link to the blog post in the description. Enter your name and email address and hit enter. The link to the source code will be sent to you via email. Open the link and click on the blue button to download the code. Then begin by opening a terminal in this directory and install the requirements. Now once the requirements are installed, execute the Python script named deepsorttracking.py. The input file is from a traffic camera and the corresponding classes to be tracked are 1 for persons, 3 
for cars and 4 for motorcycles. So that's how you can use Torch Vision models to track objects using Deep Sort Tracker. If you like this video, why don't you check out Fairmod in this video or other videos in the object tracking playlist. Do comment on what you would like to see next and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time.